Aboriginal people in this country, their sovereignty is in concrete. It always was. It's always been the law of this land. It hasn't changed. It can never change. It's not recognition of that. That's what they're talking about. And, you know, recognises these fundamental unresolved issues. That's the journey that we're on. You know, can people see their way of supporting that? You know, you don't have to come in and say, well, how can we save the Aboriginal people? And we try to work out what the issues are affecting Aboriginal people. You know, for me, it's the G, S and the T. They're the unresolved fundamental legal questions in this country. And you'd think that an activist this is what the Indigenous people have come up with, saying these are the fundamental issues that need to be resolved here. Can you help us resolve it? So there's, there's no need to think, think about what you're going to do. It's, it's already there, you know? Whether people can see their way to supporting what we're doing here. It's not bringing your own ideas on, and your own idea of freedom here. Your freedom's tied up with ours. You know, the recognition of the sovereignty of this land. It's not up to anybody to decide whether that's right or not. Something that just needs to be recognised in this country. And you know, the law of this land, it's critical in terms of the environment. It's critical in terms of the, the people's survival. You know, I've always said there's a there's a connection between genocide and ecocide. And that's the issue for me. And that involves everybody. You know what I mean? This is an illegal occupation. I know people disagree with that. <coughs> and I don't know if people would be here tonight if you didn't disagree with that. It's an illegal occupation that committed crimes against humanity the whole time they've been here. And the whole country lives off the proceeds of this crime. So, you know, it's time to get fair and get real. You know, it's, life is hemorrhaging in terms of the environment. I don't know if you've noticed that. But our people seen it on, on the 14th of April, 1770. We knew what the intent of these people was when they started firing cannons at us. The Union Jack. You know, it's important that Aboriginal people get an opportunity to do these things, and it's important that if we make mistakes, it's our mistake. And we learn that from that mistake. It's no good people making mistakes for us. We don't learn nothing from that. We stay in the same position. It's important for us to learn from our mistakes. So that's how we're going to grow. If we don't get the opportunity to do that. But we're never going to get out of the situation we're in. So we're going to make mistakes. You know, we haven't got all the answers. But we've been around these issues all our life. And you, know, you, can, you can sort of take it as that this is, these are the issues that we're talking about. So you don't have to bring your own ideas in there. So you know, the recognition of the sovereignty of this land, it's not up to anybody to decide whether that's right or not. It's something that just needs to be recognised.